Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Slay the Spire. Ascension level 20. Let's go, boys. We've been having a, just an awful run of things lately. Give me the common relic. I don't dislike it. To be honest, I'm kind of a big fan of uh, Regal Pillow. We do end up resting on occasion, perhaps more often than we'd like to have to rest, but... It is what it is. I'm not promising anything today, except that, as of right now, my intentions are to play as well as possible. I want to be considerate of the way that I play. I want to make good decisions. And if we lose, we lose. But I don't want to lose because of uh, avoidable mistakes. You know, if you build a deck and then you fight the elite that hard counters you, you know, what are you going to do? Thread a needle for free is so good. I think we'll do this. Um, but, I mean, so far, actually, I really like what we got going on, to be honest with you. Where are we going here? I was hoping, and I think Thread and Needle and Regal Pillow, both, uh, they help work us towards this goal, to be honest. Go ahead and hit me for three to make you killable next turn. Um, you're 23, we gotcha. We want to be able to fight those two elites. I'm just thinking, I'm going to take a true grit. I think I've really suffered lately by not taking enough blocks. And a shrug and a consume, sorry, not consume, combust, both fine by me. Consume, different character. Like, immediately, combust does incredible work for us here. I it was really, like, it was the last time we played as, uh... The Ironclad, we had, or two times ago, or well, it was last video, I think, but we did two runs during the video, because it all went terribly, terribly wrong. Um, but uh, we, we used Combust, and it, it's extremely good on the first floor. Obviously, if you can get something like Reaper to work alongside of it, there, there's a, some value there as well. You know what, I will take Feel No Pain as well, it hard counters the, uh, the Obelisks. This is a hard one for me. I think I'm going to wake you up. We will play Body Slam instead of Feel No Pain. Yeah. I think we just wanted... The reason we wanted to play Combust is because it is worth 5 every turn. So I thought by passing that up we were making a, a dire mistake. You know what? I think we can afford to play one of those. Combust is gonna work this out for us. Okay, I was hoping for a bash. Thank you. The other nice thing about Combust, I suppose, is that uh, even as our strength dwindles, that'll still be relatively useful. I mean, it's still gonna do five damage every single time. We're not getting blown out that badly. 13 extra damage. I really want to kill you. Boy, do I just want this to be... Oh, you're dead. Okay. We might lose one HP in the process, but you're dead. You, we will not lose one more HP in the process. Thank God. Dreamcatcher. Absolutely garbage. Um, I think Clothesline is fine considering we have the Hexaghost, but I gotta let you know, this card has been, it's been falling down my power rankings lately. So here, what do we want? Uh, feel no pain. No question about it. Feel no pain means that every day's is worth three block. This is horrible. Um, It's also insanely good value on this fight, considering it costs you, uh, you know, one energy. But I do think we're going to fulfill our dream. Sure, why not? Uh, I do think we're going to fulfill our dream of uh, of being able to fight these two elites in sequence without dying. You're already dead. You're not. We're going to have enough block here, thankfully. Who do we start working on? I think you're probably going to be the next to go. Just crunching the numbers here. I don't even think you play True Grit. Where do we go from here? Probably want to hit that campfire ASAP. I'm 
So this will kill you. But this will kill you as well. We can... Oh, and you know what? You're actually dead. The only question is whether or not it's going to cost us one more HP to get it done. So please... And it will. I beg you for one extra good relic. Gremlin Horn is fine. I no longer think we need Evolve. I'm going to double up on Ye old Body Slam. And we're going to try to hit this. Oh, please don't do me dirty like this. I'm begging you. So this is enough. And now I just got to think, would we rather True Grid Body Slam? No, I think we'd rather just Bash, honestly. We are going to be made frail, which is terrible news. You're doing 21 damage. We're taking one damage. And all we got to do with this guy is outlast him. I actually think we will not play Combust. It will make us, it, maybe not unlikely, but impossible to get... Uh, to get our loot. That's okay. I'm just happy to be alive, honestly. 21 HP. Uh, I think dual wield is what we want um, because it's going to work so much better with a um, with our body slams. And we're going to buy the armaments and that'll probably be... Well, what I'm thinking right now is essentially that the armaments... Hold on. I'm just trying to think. of Is there any way... Too weak to all enemies. I don't think we need to take the perfected strike. Actually, I'm pretty happy with what we have. The armaments doesn't have to be upgraded, but it would be our first upgrade target. Love it. Still like it a great deal. Um, because it can target our body slams and make them free, which I think... My my hope is that that alone will be enough to take us where we need to go. And we're going to upgrade it and then never play it. It's a little galaxy brain play. Not everybody out there is going to have the, the wherewithal to understand what we were getting at there. We don't need a blood potion right now. Offering? Nah, nah, nah. Give me that rage. Despite all my rage. I'm still just a rat in a cage. You know who said that? That's right. Mahatma Gandhi, later made popular by William Corgan. I think we got to start getting some Gremlies going. I feel very smart right now. You're dead to a weakened strike, so we might as well just toast you. Like this, am I wrong? Or is this going extremely well? I feel like this is going extremely well right now. Thorns is, is definitely what we want. Give me a Carnage as well. Uh, and, and you know what? Give me some Fire Sauce for that Carnage Asada. We're going to upgrade Armaments. I feel very, very pleased on a floor fight standpoint with where we're at right now. It's a terrible turn for dual wield, unfortunately. I was going to say, you're going to do an awful lot of damage, unfortunately for me. Let's do it. So we're going to take 27 damage. We're going to dish out 18. You're vulnerable for way more turns. Um, we have to play Carnage. It's extremely mission critical. Um, nothing is really going to get exhausted, but Combust kind of scares me. I think we play Feel No Pain, enjoy your three block, and uh, the burns don't exhaust. Some In my head I was like, the burns will exhaust, they don't exhaust. You're thinking of slimes, my man. So we're waiting for big old body slams to come around. This, it, it looked bad, I actually think this is kind of okay right now. We're gonna play Bash anyway. Ah, uh, you know what? I think we can play two strikes. Take no damage, build up some block. The vulnerability, I think we'll have a chance to get it back around anyway. Twelve damage. 
we're now definitely in lethal range. Um, sorry, Carnage. Do we really? Nah, maybe I'm an idiot. Presumably, we want a Carnage here, not Armament's Body Slam. And then one other card, yeah. So this is where we have to be very careful. Obviously, we're in lethal range right now. Um, I'm, I'm pretty stoked. I think we have to hit him twice. No, we can only hit him once. Um, we could play two blocks and get to 12. Or we could play one attack and one block and get to 10. So I think that's a little bit better. We got to 13, actually, because we exhausted the card. Didn't even think about that. All right, it's still going to be a little close. Carnage, please. Um, it's not close. We're dead. I mean, it, it was close. That hurts, because I thought we had built a very good run from a floor-killing perspective. But that's life. At least we got to the reward. Let's try again. Give me the common relic. Oh, I don't dislike that. I know I said that last time, and then we lost. But this time, I, like, really mean it. Um, I also, I see a path that's a little silhouette of a path. Scatamoosh, scatamoosh. Will you do the Fandango? What did we learn? We still need more attacks. <laughs> Unfortunately. And you know what? Give me that wild strike, dude. I think that, um, obviously not my favorite card. But if we're gonna take an Evolve on the first floor anyway, it also, it gets pretty good when you upgrade it. But if we're going to take an Evolve on the first floor anyway, which is uh, the common level way to deal with uh, the Obelisks, I think that having one of those is fine. Reckless Charge, I, I don't believe is fine, but an Iron Wave is very nice. There's our treasure that we got from Tiny Chest, probably, so... Or at least we would be more likely to assume that we got it as a result of Tiny Chest. What do we need now? Big Attacks. We need at least, I mean, two of the three elites get, not countered, but at least killed by big attacks. I'm going to take Rupture. It just, it enables, this is horrible. It enables a few other cards that I would love to take early. This one hurts. In particular, like, uh, offering hemokinesis, but even bloodletting, I think I could justify here for sure. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this triple elite path. Let's do it. Where do you go? I don't know if we need two energy. Rupture for free is good, but we gotta go for the, the big damage here. 17 for one is pretty good. Now, these are the enemies that don't get countered by that. So I'm not feeling too smart right now. But we're still cruising. So far. And we're going to get one strength every time we play Bloodletting. Is that that good? No, like, not really. <laughs> it's not horrible, but... It, it's mostly just a decent value add, I guess, is a good way to put it. And we're taking just a, a butt ton of damage here. We're, we're probably going to have to rest. I'm trying to think. We're going to be at a maximum of 38 HP. I really, I mean, I do want to say in my own defense that I think this is the... Um, this is the fight that our deck should be worst against. Like, by far. I don't believe I can kill you under any of these circumstances, so... No point in playing Bloodletting just to gain the strength, I think. Um, so I think we'll be much better off against the, the Demon and the Lagavulin. But we're not against the Demon and the Lagavulin. We're against, uh, you know, these three sentries here. And right now, they're ahead by a sentry. They're bodying me pretty hard. 
Um, you know what? Blood for Blood works very well here. Kunai is also amazing, so we do want, like, some zero-cost attacks if possible, or cheap attacks, or more energy. Any, any variety, or even better, all of those would be fine by me. Right, that makes sense. Uh, Kunai is really good, but it's not immediately what we're looking for. So we will bloodletting here. It'll actually save us HP, so it's a win-win. I don't think you can build a run around it, but... We got some offensive punch now. I'm feeling a little bit better. Dude, I think we can totally sustain two blood for bloods, but we're about to find out if I'm a genius or an idiot. You might think I feel like an idiot for drawing them first turn. I actually don't care. The fact that we were able to play Bash on turn one, I think, is way more important. Now get that Wild Strike coming around ASAP, please. I think it's extremely unlikely we kill you next turn. And that's a real bummer. I don't think I can live. Nah, bro. I'm dead. That one hurts more, because I really, again... I thought we we had a good setup there. Apparently my barometer is all sorts of jacked up. Now we want free elites. Minimum question marks is the first thing I look for. Or sorry, maximum question marks. Okay, rarely does this happen that you actually have to go more than one turn against uh, this enemy. Hello Tomo, welcome back. Early on, still gonna go for that Botus Slam. Self-forming clay, I actually like it a lot. We're gonna remove it from the, or we're gonna remove regret from the deck, and those went very well together, I would say. Um, thank you for not being combat. We're gonna transform. I'm gonna transform a basic strike. It became carnage. That's a huge win for us. We are gonna get a free elite. Did we, we require a little bit of RNG to help us out today? I would say that doubtlessly, yes, that is indeed the case. And hook me up with that Wild Strike. I'm a believer in that Wild Strike. Now, if there's any Elites that I'd like to uh, have be free, these might be the ones, to be honest. Even though they weren't the ones that killed us last time. I just find them annoying. I'm going to try this spot weakness, too. So, what gets upgraded right off the bat? Body Slam. We definitely need some better blocks to make it really tick, but... I'm not upset with this to begin with. We might be able to kill you next turn. We are not even close to killing you next turn. What was I thinking? We would also love to see like an evolve. I think we can justify. I mean, here's the thing. If we're going to be rolling uh, like a spot weakness, we really should put a heavy blade in the deck. I don't expect it immediately to be very good. But, like, at some point. So I was hoping Bash would come around, but, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Pen nib. Spot weakness, uh, Heavy Blade? Heavy Blade will do 42 damage, or 60. That's a tough choice. Um, and then this, it will not deal 36. Don't get your hopes up. But I did, and I will definitely use a potion to accomplish this. To get the kill on him before we can do anything. We get Bronze Scales. I think Iron Wave with Body Slam works particularly well. Okay, this could be big. Feed, Spot Weakness. We would love a feed. Regret, Spot Weakness. Bash, Writhe. Regret, writhe, wild strike, wild strike. <laughs> oh well. Oh, oh, these guys again. Hey, now that's not fair. Now, why not use the block potion? I'd much rather use it on a turn where we're going to be hit and we have a body slam. Sound good? Like, like this turn, for example. Although now, to be honest, we won't need it. It's 
Still good, though. Who's our boss? Uh, I was hoping it would not be the Hexaghost. Um, but having bronze scales, I mean, is, is extremely good for dealing with the Hexaghost, of course. A lot of wounds in this deck. This would be a great turn for Carnage. You know, it's also a pretty good turn for Body Slam when you have two blocks alongside it. One of these days, I'm going to get you, buddy. And we're going to... Three elites on the first floor. One of them admittedly was free, but it's not a bad sign. Dude, I love Rage as a card. It's, it's real hard to convince me that's not worth taking here. Um... We're going to need some kind of extra, like a way to kill this boss. And I think Bash is probably, to extend that vulnerability, is possibly like the biggest helper we can get. Um, we can at least get a little value out of our free body slam. Not much. I would love, love, love to see either. I did not mean to wake you up as my bad. I would love to see either some good block, i.e. Flame Barrier, or um, if that's too much to muster. Sorry, Pen Nib. Um, well, we found it impervious. But the other thing I was going to say is uh, Evolve itself would also be really nice, but... I don't know if gaining one strength is going to matter that much. I think now we're looking at like the eight extra damage from Carnage. But I actually feel like this is going to be a, a harder fight than it looks like. <laughs> I also hate the idea that we'll be drawing wounds, but... 36, huh? Well, we'll play an attack for rage purposes. To get a bludgeon for a potion is pretty solid. So again, we're taking 27 damage, but we are gaining block now. I didn't consider that. Good point. So I'm going to bet on uh, Wild Strike. Are we going to draw wounds? Oh, like a staggering amount. We would really rather save Impervious for later, so hear me out. I really think you bash. I still think you take advantage of Pen Nib, unfortunately. I was think I, I. We're gonna do this, and the whole point of that was to keep Impervious, or sorry, to keep Carnage in the deck. Did we accomplish our mission? I believe so. Take two, get three block next turn. I'm a very happy man. Okay, here we go. Carn, well, Rage. Carnage. Well, we could probably just... No, we'd rather Carnage and kill than go for Impervious Body Slam. But we made it work. Okay. It's very important. Can you can you finesse a barricade in this situation? Offering scares me because we have no heals. I think you got to try to make a barricade work. But in order to make it happen, we are definitely going to need an Energy Relic. We did get one. But, you know, like, straight up. If we don't take it, we'll we'll lose, I think. If we do take it, we'll also probably lose. But I think we got to we got to go with our heart. You know, we said we needed an energy relic to win. Let's make it so. We need this barricade upgraded ASAP, too. So, we're so lucky we have bronze scales. Obviously, extremely good right here. You will die in four hits. So, I would like to kill you. You're Can I hit you four times? Not, not possible. Not possible. Can I hit you enough that you die? Yes. 
So we're gonna take 11, I think. I think my math was extremely off. Certainly, I think a shrug is what we need here. Remove, uh, we'll go for upgrade, no question. And, um, dude, to be honest with you, I think that um, medical kit over singing bowl because of our wild strikes makes me very interested. I took another rage to go along with it as well because I want to be very protective of my HP right now. Very, very protective of my HP right now. We have pen nib immediately. So I would rather not get hit for 21. You have 30 HP. You gonna let me get there? You're gonna let me get there. That could have gone worse. Entrench is also a must have. I know what Inloth's gift is. I hate to lose self forming clay. I really do. Dude, I think we want Entrench before Barricade, believe it or not. Um. But I, I know what I did there, and I, I stand by it. We'll get Barricade next. Turnip is actually pretty swell. Um, I'm very hopeful to receive a Reaper at some point. Pen nib, huh? I think you strike. Even though you're likely to get a better pen nib target. Just because it also gave us the block. And we're looking for some big heavy hitters next turn, I guess. Oh, you can play your wounds, buddy! So this is kind of like your dream turn. You hope to finish it off with a body slam, but this is a good indication that when the draw is right, and you, uh, you can play your wounds, by the way, and you got your, your barricades out there, you know, you can really get into some extreme damage. And I don't think we need any of this. I'm not gonna have the cash to do anything except maybe remove a card. We're gonna add another shrug it off which if nothing else helps us get to what we're looking for faster this is a very dangerous fight for sure um you got a carnage even though like you know we could get the 16 block next turn i think we'd rather make this guy killable and we can't become frail anyway so we ignore the debuff thankfully i would like to kill you with a double damage strike maybe so i think we'll do it like this Eight damage, but no frailty. The, the no frailty is enormous. Not being able to rest, uh, I'm sure, is unlikely uh, that you need me. Oh, Player wounds, by the way, is unlikely you need me to tell you. It's very, very bad. Which is why I, I feel very strongly that we would benefit immensely from uh, something like a Reaper, for example. Okay. Another Entrench also interested me greatly, but I think we need Sustenance. We got a Basha. Okay, this is our turn, ideally. Defend, defend, entrench, strike, body slam. That was our turn. Didn't get a chance to play Reaper. That's okay. Give me that next body slam. Hi. <sighs> okay, you know, you might think I'm disappointed. You would be incorrect. We can get cheap barricade. I said can get cheap barricade. Here we go very simple here.
Well. I guess we should have thought that Carnage was probably getting exhausted no matter what. Well, incredible. Player wounds, by the way. Dude, there, how are we going to beat the boss? There is a way. Could be worse. What's the way? Um, I mean, if you got a limit break and manage to combo it into, like, the Reaper of your dreams, that's a way. Short of that, um, get... Draw your impervious barricade and entrenches in such a perfect fashion that, uh... You can play your wounds, by the way. Um, that you just get to, like, 500 block early and, and never surrender. We're also gonna start with Pen Nib, which is worth something. Dude, I don't know if we can take... Why not? <laughs> We can't rest, so I think we're in the clear here to just keep upgrading these body slams and make them playable. All right, boys, big time Reaper, not immediately. Really wanted to see a little barricade action. You know what? I hate it, but I think I think you pop it right away. and you, I know that it's so much better if we get to draw it AoE, but I don't know if we'll live to draw it AoE. So just heal me for 12 right now. Did manage to do 71 damage on the first turn. That's nothing to sneeze at. Everything else is, unfortunately, something to sneeze at. And, uh... Entrench Iron Wave can take us to 10 block, which will mean we live. So you really just bash Iron Wave Entrench. Uh, but we we need our we need our stuff to pop instantly, and it's not gonna. So yeah, we're dead. Uh, an attempt was made. Never really got off the ground here. I knew the risks. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. See ya.